And we're on. They said if I punched the camera, it would make my intro more interesting. So that's what I did. Welcome to the Journey to Pro Producer and Engineer series. Uh, basically what this is, is I am not a professional, so not what I'm saying. I am going to, the goal is to do a video every single day for about an hour until I, you know, become a pro. Because this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. Music is my passion. So if you enjoy watching people um, like make music, uh, do some mixing, some mastering, and you don't really have a lot of time on your hands, you just kind of like, it's kind of like a podcast, you know? Like, you don't really know why you listen or watch podcasts, but you just like watching people do what you like to do. So if, if that's you, you got some time to kill, this is the series for you. And we're going to have some fun. So if you haven't seen the first couple episodes, um, basically what we did is we're taking this song. Um, I made like a rough draft beat, sent it over to somebody that uh, I make music with. He wrote to it. He came here. He recorded it. So down here. Let me move my dome. I always do this. I always forget to do this. Boop. Boop. Wham. Okay. Now I'm out the way. So down here, right down here, we have his vocal recordings. We are not going to mess with these right now because... Like I said, a rough draft beat was made so he can just start writing and get it done, right? Now that he's done his part, you know, we got that part done. Now I'm going to finish the production, and that's what I've been doing for the past couple episodes, and that's what we're going to continue to do. So, like and subscribe if you haven't yet, and let's hang out and create. Let's do it. Yesterday... What did we work on yesterday? I think we did this. Nope. What do what I do? Oh, if you're wondering, I do not have a Red Bull today. I have a coffee made by 1330 Coffee. I just... Oh, no. I got coffee in my dang keyboard. No. <laughs> Yeah, that tastes weird. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sucks. I hope it doesn't mess anything up. Yesterday. I think we did horns. Yes. We decided that we're going to keep the horns like that. So. First, I should, I should probably just show you kind of what the beat is like if you haven't heard it yet. So that's kind of what it's like. Now I'm setting my timer, remember? I always forget to do this. Okay, boom. One hour. We're doing one hour, guys. See what we can <clears throat> get done. So we did do the, the first episode was just me kind of working on the drums, getting those more dialed in. And then bouncing them down to audio and uh, from MIDI because, you know, we, when we get to mixing, we're not going to mix MIDI. We're mixing audio. I ain't. And then I normalized them, the region gain, to 
all of them to peak at no more than negative 10, which is also going to help us in the mixing phase. Now, we went through this. So we're going to take this MIDI here. These are splice samples. And what I've been doing, if you notice, I've been taking splice samples, putting them into the Q sampler, and then using my keyboard to find the right key, right? But I stopped doing that, and I'll show you why. If you didn't see, it's another example of it. <clears throat> what we're going to do is create a new audio track. I'm going to put that in there. And we're going to find this sample, and then we're going to... What I've noticed is that the Q sampler... It's like adding some weird artifacts, like some phasiness to some of the samples. So what I'm going to start doing is taking the splice sample, just pulling in the original audio from there, and then using this up here, transpose, to... Why is it set at 12? Set that back to zero. Okay, and then I'll use transpose to go to the right key, so it actually keeps that original audio sound instead of making it all, like, wonky, right? So we just take this. This is the, the name of it right here. We pull up Splice. And... Yeah. Okay, so we're just going to type that in. 9-1... B underscore P R underscore one forty seven underscore vocal underscore alid underscore radio yeah underscore lead A M let's search for that and then we're gonna look for the one <laughs> that I've gotten already. That little check mark shows that I've bought it already. So this is it. Let's play it. Woo! Okay. Hearing it, I needed to use the Q sampler because I chopped it up. So it sounds like this now. Oh, I've obviously pitched it up. Okay, so listen to the difference. Let's see if there is one, actually. Make this smaller. That's as small as it goes, really. Okay. I'm going to take it and go put ink. Get rid of that. Now, what does this start with? Let's kind of chop it up like we did in this. So we're going to find the ooh, ooh. So I just cut it right here. So three. I just count in one, two, three. That's where I cut it. And then let's move that out of the way. Copy and paste that. It starts one little whatever that is later and it goes for four so i'm going to drag it out for four that should be the same right here yep that is all right and then so let's line these up boink take it that all right so what's next oh cool that's easy so I'm just gonna delete this bank Bank. 
Boom. That should be it. That is such a cool sample. All right. I'm gonna highlight. If I hold control shift at the same time, it'll bring up my fade tool. And then I don't have to switch back and forth. So those little pops coming in and out should be gone now. Ready? Okay, what I think happened is, you see on this? Uh, oh, well. Hmm. Okay, for some reason it's a little bit longer than the actual MIDI, which is weird. So I think I'm going to go out just a little bit more. I'm just going to go all the way. Bam! And when I connect to, I do a crossfade and not a regular one. Because it just seamlessly goes to the next audio clip yeah let's do this okay i like that fade a little bit more yeah Okay, not you. Let's go right there. Perfect. We'll see. See how that sound.
So I doubled it, right? Yep, I doubled it. Wham. Should start. Where's that start? Yeah, right there. Cool. So now we get this. That sounds pretty cool, right? Now, this was transposed up 12 semitones, but let's just make sure that that sounds the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, go up 12 semitones, boom, and let's see if it sounds cleaner with the original audio than putting it in Q sampler and playing it. Here we go. Oh yeah, I can just tell you right now it sounds better. Listen to the difference, the phasiness in this versus the original audio. See how it sounds? Here, let me compare it apples to apples. See how it's like kind of thin and like uh, robotic almost? It's just cleaner. I mean, it's not a lot different, but it's just cleaner. And then, I mean, when all your sounds are phasey like that, it's just going to sound not as full all together in context with each other, all the other instruments. So the closer we can get it to, you know, sounding smoother, the better. So I'm going to take this. Mute that bad boy. I'm going to hide it. Turn that bad boy off. And then I'm just going to duplicate this. Command D twice. Rotate that. Hold option, drag. Hold option, click, drag. And then what I did was this one. Uh, let's see what I did here. Oh, not record. There. So that's regular. And I went down. So basically, I wonder why I had the high pitch one in the middle. So this, I'm just going to clear that out. Hold option and click and it takes it back to whatever the regular setting is. And take this down. So now we got this and it was like I think 50 probably or 55 55 right 50 whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> You hear it kind of like clipping a little bit. That's just because the gain is, is loud. So what we're going to do, just like we're doing on every other one, we're going to take all these. We're going to go here. Remember, normalized region gain. It's co control option G. Control option G. And we're going to set it at individual regions to peak at negative 10. All 30. It shows you. There's 30 regions there. Watch, watch the waveform shrink. Because right now, it's peaking way over. That's why you're hearing all that, like, cl clipping and stuff. It's going to shrink them, and they're all going to be the same size. Boop. See that? Now. See? No more clipping. No more distortion. And... Let's move these up here together. Let's hide these. Mute your hidden tracks because they will still play. But actually, before we mute them, I'm going to show you. Let's just listen to the difference between the old versus the new. Same thing, just original audio instead of MIDI.
See how it has like a robotic ishness to it? And then the original audio. You don't have it. So much cleaner. All right, let's mute these. And then get rid of, press H and it'll get rid of your hidden tracks. Now we don't, we didn't get rid of them. Because what if we have to go back and we're like, you know what? I think I, I like uh, placing it here. We can kind of play with like, um, we can play with it a little bit easier and a lot faster in MIDI. If we're trying to get new ideas, we probably won't. We probably won't use it at all. And later on, we'll just delete those. But right now, I'm, just, I'm keeping them. So, let's hear it. Okay. So, what I think I like better, I'm probably going to put this one, the high pitch, out. And the regular in the middle. Yeah. And then I'll turn those way down. So boom. It's like 10. Let's go five. All right. So what we're going to do actually because these are kind of coming in late. I'm sure you heard that. Listen. So I'm gonna take them. I'll let all of them. I'm just gonna nudge them over. Oh, just a little bit. Boop. At a time. That's better. It's, that might be a little too much. So we're going to put it right here on this. Beep. That's probably going to be perfect. Yep. Okay. I'm bringing this way down. Yeah, it's fine. Now, the reason why we had to bring the high pitch one down a lot further is because higher frequencies, your your ears perceive it as louder, even though it's not louder. So just perception wise, um, what did we call that? Mm, hidden tread. Oh, shoot. Vocal sample. Okay. Vox, Vox sample. Whoa. Sample. Oh my gosh. I can't type. It's not fair. Left. Vox. Sample center. And then we got the Vox sample. Right. Boom. I just ordered some Cali Audio speakers. Just upgrading my speakers. And then I ordered a Mojave... MA50 microphone to upgrade my microphone because I've noticed there's a lot of this. This is what I have, right? I, I was a student at Full Cell, or I still am. I'm just not in audio production. When I was in audio production, they sent me this microphone. It's a Audio Technica AT2020, I think. And it's like $100. And it's, you can tell it's $100. So I upgraded. To a six hundred dollar microphone, a Mojave MA fifty, and apparently after a bunch of research, that is the one to get for that uh, 
middle of the road price range that's like still bre- budget friendly, but the quality is like, um, apparently it's 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 even better than a Neumann TLM one hundred three or whatever it's called. But I'm excited to get that. I think I get that on Tuesday. All right. Commit, remember? Let's just commit and move on. There. So what do these sound like? Okay. Let's... Hmm. Okay, cool. I have my processing on the actual. Hmm. See, I don't want this on there. I'm just going to turn that off for now. Yeah. Okay. There. Cool. Let's find this one. R K U. See, I don't I wouldn't have to do this if I figured out that the Q sampler jacks up the the audio a lot sooner, but because I didn't think about this. This is why I'm having to do this. So just don't do what I did, basically. Like, be better than me. Okay, right there, that's probably it. Is that really it? Well, I guess we'll see. Audio, add this in. We'll see. So I chopped it, but let's see. Where did I chop it at? I wonder if I did it like. I wonder. Uh, I bet it was like, ooh, 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 just over and over again. Now we just got to kind of like play around and figure out. I think it's a little bit more. It's too much. You know what? It is a chord. I played a chord. Let's duplicate it twice. So basically what I did. Oh gosh. Um on C. C? So what is this in? C? It's already in C. Cool. 
So let's take that out. <sighs> so I had it on. C B A G G C D E F and G again. So basically when we transpose each just go up count the keys and that's how you know what to transpose it to so so we got one two three four five six seven seven yep so if I take it and do this one at this one at plus seven Keep this one the same and do this one at, what was it? One, two, three, four, five down. Uh, let's see here. So negative five. It should be the same note. And it's not. Okay, so let's go to, I think it's just, this one's an octave down. Oh, that's not even, here. You know what? I'm not even going to waste a bunch of time on this because I don't, it's, it doesn't sound weird to me, so. Yeah, it doesn't sound any better. And I am not about to waste my hour trying to figure that out because it will take me a while. So what I'll do is I'm going to bounce these down. Um, I'll take the, let's see. I'll take these out here. And I'm going to bounce this down. Remember, control, command, B. And I, I use the, I named it ad lib. That's fine. I, I leave the bip on there so I know it's a bounced track it's not like i'm not gonna know because it's there's audio and one's a midi but still because i'm gonna hide i'm gonna hide the midi track so if i am if i'm looking over here and i see that there's an audio track that doesn't have bip on it i'm gonna be like okay that didn't come from a midi track where'd it come from so i'm gonna include audio uh or volume and pan automation make sure your volume's at zero your pan's at center don't do normalize have it either off or on overload protection okay let's so bounce that down to audio okay so there's the audio okay now, what's next? Control, option, G. We're going to do the region game. Boom. Now we got this. Okay, so you notice that... Um, well, I guess... So on this bus here is where I have the processing. If I had the processing, see up here, if I had it right here on the actual track, those process, those plugins would have got baked into this audio, right? But because it's not baked into it, I can just turn these off if I want to. And then I'll get the original sound. So there's no delay or anything. Now if I turn these on, 
No, it's moving because of the delay. Ugh. Okay. So I'm just going to duplicate that because I think this is the same. Same thing. Yes. I'm just going to pull this down. Boom. And then now we have a left and a right. This one. Left. Right. Just do this. Doesn't matter. But I have them labeled, so. Here, bring up the hidden tracks. Hide it. Hide it. You. Cool. <laughs> Sorry. Still getting over my sickness if you can't tell with my voice. That's good. Why does it keep dripping, dog? It's got that drip. Oh, it's drip. I look like a pee peed. Okay. Get rid of those hidden tracks, baby. <laughs> cool. Move on. That's literally the whole beat, I think. Minus the brass. Okay. Let's hear this. See, these are horns that I... They don't even sound realistic, and I'm almost wondering if... Like, nobody cares, right? Just... Other than people like us, right? We want the most realistic, whatever. Like, the listener does not care. All they care about, like, if it was a real trumpet or saxophone or whatever, all they care about is, does this sound cool? Do I like it? And will I press, or, will I press, will I press replay on this song? If yes, they don't, is, they just want it, want something to sound good. They're not particular like we are. So, I'm almost thinking. I think I'm just going to keep it, dude. And we'll see. Because what I can do is add some plugins to it to make it, you know, feel a little bit more lively. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to take these. And I wonder if I hold command. Nope. Command. Nope. This, okay, I'm going to make sure, turn that off. So the buses, I mean, yeah, the buses don't get baked in. It's only, because this is not actually on the track, right? Where, this is on a different track. See how it says, oh, hold on. Let's, if I click it, boom. This is my reverb bus. This won't get baked into the actual track. Um, so now volumes at zero pans at zero control option B and we will bounce it down. Okay. Boom. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. Um. It's a little bit long. Mm. Oh, here's another thing I noticed with Logic lately. Uh, if you saw the last episode, you'd see, you'd know. Look at this. It was messing me up. 
Like it's not even snap into the actual grid. Look at that. I have to zoom all the way in just to get it on the grid. Come on, Logic. What the hell's up with that? All right, so if I just... Um, actually, let's do this. If I do that and... Okay, let's see if that seamlessly goes to the next one or not. And it sure does. Okay, that's fine. So we can leave it like that. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take this, bring it down. Move it over there. Actually, I don't think I had anything right there. Stop. Freaking turd. Freaking turd nugget. Gosh. Mute that. Dip there. Let's duplicate that. Bring that down. Now we can hide this one. Hide that one. What's this one? 45. There we go. 45. I want to I want to get it as close to the rough as possible even though it's rough uh it was you know the rough version of the beat like that's what he wrote to that's what he knows like he doesn't know what this sounds like like any changes that we make so I don't want it to be completely different I just want to focus on adding some little touches here and there and then arrangement is probably the biggest thing Ooh, ooh. All right, did we do this? Did we normalize this? Nope, we did not. Got that done. Let's do the saxophone. We already did that. And actually, okay, so we did, we did do left and right 35%. So let's duplicate that. Let's bring that down. We'll go right 35, left 35. Cool. And I will go sax left, sax right. <clears throat> okay, I don't think I did that up here. Nope. Left, right. Now I usually do my left on the top, right on the bottom for some reason. I don't know why. It's just how my brain works. 
Ba 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 ba. Okay, did we do horns? We have an author done horns. That was weird. Ah, okay. Still coming through. So, let's see. Here, here. That sounds pretty natural. Let's go. S O underscore. Yay. Nope. S O T L. My sounds. Okay. S O T L. Maybe if I just do a few letters, I won't have to search for or type so much. But it looks like I'm going to have to. Okay. Or not. Joke's on you, buddy. Joke's on you today. Cord. You know, <laughs> nothing ever happens the way it's supposed to. <laughs> Everything bad always happens to me. <laughs> yep. So let's try to... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, option, command, A, okay, option, command, A, boom, nice, gotta learn those key commands, baby, baby, Bye. all right, hey, But it's like here. I think that's it. It is. Okay. Now let's see if it's actually. Did I do this last time? I feel like I did. And I decided not to do it. Didn't I? Did it sound fine? We'll just do it and see. Okay, I think that's it. Nope, this sounds pretty much the same. So, like, uh, that's probably what I figured out last time. I'm not going to waste any more time on this. So, volume, cent uh, unity, pan, center, and control, option G, or not. Control, command, B, horn L. OK. 
Control Option G. Apply region gain. Boom. Take this um, here. D. Switch this to oh, to the right side. Those are at fifty five. Bring that down. To put that up there. To stay organized, people. Just stay organized. Just stay organized. Just organized. Oop. There. Everything's normalized and bounced to audio. I think we're good. <laughs> Fix this real quick. Take this off. Oh, Command C to go back. Boom. Here we go again. Oh my gosh, how far is it? Bam. Still not. All right, we got to fix this, man. This ain't cool. Time wasted, dog. Okay. I think that was there. All right. There. Make sure that was good. Drums. And then 808. I didn't want to bounce the 808 until I was ready to the very end. Why did I do that? Because if I need to some move it around. Okay, cool. Got all of our sounds done. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of beef it up a little bit. So like the first thing I noticed was this snare. I want to put like a thicker, like heavier snare underneath this snare. Right? So what, what was it? Option command A. Option command A. Right? Actually, we're going to go back. And what we're going to do is just duplicate this. Boom. Bit 2. What's bit 2 for? Snare 2. And then we'll name this. Is there? Oh, hold on. Bit 1. Yeah, I don't know why it named it BIP2. Cool. So now, let's do just the drums. We'll play this part. And let's find like a, a snare sound that's like real kind of like heavy. Just want to make sure splice is coming through. Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. Instrument, snares. Oh, look at watch this. Okay. You're gonna create a software instrument track. I always put this at the top, right? So we're calling this this song about time, right? And I just bounced the, the beat that I sent him down and I put it up here just so I can reference back to what he knows it sounds like. So I don't stray too far away from it. So like, so listen to the drums now. Now that I hear that, I actually don't want to. I left the space open right here, I think is what it was. Um, this kick right here. Yeah, you see, I followed the kick pattern with the 808s, but I left a few spots open. So it's not hitting every single time together, but I actually don't really like that. I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, oops. Oh. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's see. There, there. Did it right here, too. think right no I stopped it right here yeah now this is the same so just gonna copy and paste this. See, this is why I didn't print the baseline yet, because I knew I'd be changing it. I freaking knew it. I just I do it every time. Okay, so listen to the drums. This is what it used to sound like. Okay, you see how it's like, like it's just very like stuck on the grid, you know, very quantized. Now, I just wanted to put some swing in it, right? And then add a few things here and there. So now, so they're not so robotic. Now the, the drums kind of swing a little bit, but I'm not done with them, right? We're going to add some, some layers to the snare and a few other things to make it swing even more. But I want to swing in it, the song, because once you hear the, the vocals on this, like he had fun with this. Like it's going to be a fun song. So I want it to sound fun. See how there's kind of some push and pull a little bit? Whereas this one was just like very robotic, right? <laughs> and now it's a nah. Or at least it kind of, it kind of is, I guess. Okay, anyways, there's my brain for today. Let's find a splice sample.
Oh, this is what I was going to show you. Um, so, uh, the instrument, right? So, I'm going to put splice. Where's splice? What? Oh, sorry. The actual instrument will be splice bridge. So I have, so look, it's connected. You have to have a splice like opened, right? And then once it says connected, now I can control the volume of the samples that I play in here. And this splice is connected to my doll, uh, to my project. So when it plays, I can hit play and it'll loop at the right tempo. So I don't have to like sit here and guess. So watch. See when I press play, it'll wait. Maybe it won't. Hold on. Oh, I have the stupid. So I have the <laughs> the drums soloed. Okay, so I added this. Now um, I'm done being an idiot for at least two seconds. Okay, I'm back to being an idiot. Okay, cool. Now it'll play on beat. See? Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna I'm gonna put like four layers of a snare on here, so it'd be four different snares probably. Just how I like it. You know what I mean? Okay, so let's hear it with that. Oh, oops! Do you mean to do that? Because we added swing, it's not going to be on on beat, which it, it might sound good that way. We don't want it to be exactly on. Okay. It's a little too far off. So move it in just a little bit. Like that. And then I'll take it and I'll go one. Go. It's as small as I could do it. Okay. All right, listen. Okay. So then remember control option G and I'm going to gain stage it. Well, that's all we're doing is gain staging when we do that. Oh, that's way off. So delete those. Now this should be, this should be on. The F, Bobby. The F, Bobby. Why is it not on? Oh, uh, there's my timer. It's really been an hour already. Dang, dude. All right, let me let me at least get this snare on. Actually, I'll probably take this one out. Yeah. 
It's just a give and take, man. It's a little finesse. And just to kind of like make sure, see, look at that. There. That's fine. Boom. All right. So take these. So the ones that are not, see, these are on the one, right? One, the one. The one. I only want this one to play when it, the snare hits on the one. I want the ones that are not on the one that are off a little bit. So this one and these two, I want those to not have this on it. Just so there's variety and it's not the same all the way through. Right? Hope that makes sense. Uh... Now we just got to go through. Make sure they're on. I thought that was me huffing. Do y'all hear that? It, it sounds like someone's like breathing hard in my ear. I thought I was like breathing hard in the mic. Am I doing that? Let me know if I am, because I don't want to do that to you. That's kind of weird. And I'll go through and I'll manually do this. Because, like, oh, hold on. Let me take that off. Because I'm not going to get it exact every time, which means that each one of these are going to end up a little bit off, like, it's kind of basically I'm adding the swing that I did in the MIDI transform on the actual snares, right? But if I do it by hand, I'm not going to perfectly align it every single time, so it's going to be off just a little bit, which is what swing is. So that's what I want. Okay. That's fine. Cool. So let's listen to it. Okay, let's go. Okay, so it's a little too loud, right? I just wanted you to hear it. Now, if we pull it back, like, a lot. And then I'm going to turn it off. Oh. I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. So I might take the tail off, actually. See what that sounds like. Yeah, that sounds better. Because there's already reverb on this, right? Uh, see? Look at that reverb. I don't want reverb on it. Or at least not that much. I'll put it on the main snare. Let's take it off and see what that sounds like. I don't want a bunch of reverb on every single track and it's just, it's just going to be too much reverb. Okay, without. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay.
off be just a little too much, right? I wonder if it goes that what that would sound like. No, not necessarily. Not that much different. Just let's see. Where does this need to come in at? So right now it sounds like two different. Okay, that sounds better. So it needs to come in after. Just a little bit after. Okay, see how that sounds. too much. These are the little things that kind of take a little bit, for me at least, it takes a little while, which I'll, I'm sure I'll get faster at, but it just is what it is, you know what I'm saying? But if you don't do these little things, right, I might get faster at it, but I still will do this kind of stuff. But the layers is what brings body and fullness to a, to a production. Every great song that I've ever connected with had a bunch of layers, right? Very rare that you're going to find a snare in a song that's not like at least two snares together. Why does that one sound better than all the others? Okay, that's better. Yeah. See, that's way off, dude. The AF Jeffrey. What the AF Jeff? What the AF Jeff? What? How did that even happen? There. Did it do it to this one? That's good. Yep. Hmm. 
Oh my gosh, dude. Put the marker down and do it. Look at that. See? What the F? The F, Jeff. That was good. Look at this. I just figured out how to do this faster. See? Every day, man, you grow. Every day you grow. Every day you learn. Uh, I want it there. That's good. Boom. Maybe not that much. <sighs> Okay, I just breathed really hard in your ear again. I'm sorry. You know, I'm self-aware. Kind of. All right. Well... Okay, so that, I'll play the first couple bars, and then we'll see what the difference is. If we like it, we'll keep it. If we don't, we don't. without yeah this kind of sounds lifeless right listen versus yeah it sounds bigger and i'm gonna add a couple more it's gonna be big man it's gonna be big all right so recap for today it's been an hour i need to get off here all right i'm not gonna break my rule see i went 14 minutes over i broke a rule can't do that all right so today, changed a little bit in the 808. Uh, we added some snares. Um, we bounced down the brass. Added another sax. Bounced down the horns. Bounced down the samples. Uh, well, I guess we added the original samples in there, fixed that up. And then also the ad lib vocal instrument or whatever sample so got closer so now basically what we did was we got through all of the original sounds minus the 808 we haven't bounced that yet right because you know it's always evolving for some reason so my workflow happens so <clears throat> we got through all of the like original from the rough beat all the original sounds we bounce it down to audio now we can just now we're on to the phase of like okay just adding some stuff maybe some hit ear candy over here and okay maybe a layer on the snare maybe another kick underneath that one maybe you want more punch or body to the kick or whatever right maybe we want another instrument we're like okay this is kind of kind of boring in this section let's let's add another like a saxophone or piano or something like that, right? So this is the additive part of the production. So now we're moving on and we're getting more back into creative. The past couple of days have been just strictly technical, just kind of not creative at all. We're just making sure that everything is organized and like bounced down the way it's supposed to be. And now we're moving into creative. So tomorrow will be more creative and it'll be more fun. So, but hey, day in the life of someone that wants to take their passion for music and do it full time. That's the whole point. I want to become a professional so I can do this full time and not have to worry about my nine to five that I got right now. And I just, this is what I want to do. So uh, if you share, share that passion, then obviously, um, obviously you do, or you wouldn't be still here watching this video. I'd be surprised if any, anyone is. But I'm glad you hung out with me, and um, I guess I'll see you on episode... Well, this would be episode three, so I'll see you on episode four. All right? Like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.